if I have all my ducks in a row, and here's hoping that I do, we should have John Sheridan on the line with us. Are you there, John? I am. This is going swimmingly. I can't believe it. <laughs> Murr, are you still there too? I are so. Oh, good. Well, good. I'm glad you're here, Murr, because we're going to talk about naked men. I know that's one of your favorite topics. Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> John <Sorry>, Sheridan. <laughs> John Sheridan is going to be directing uh, a run of The Full Monty at Hudson Village Theater, October 19th to the 29th. Have I got that right, John? You do indeed. All right. And for, for context to begin, I've been reading about The Full Monty a little bit this morning. It's been a movie. It's been a play. It's been a book. It's now a TV series, apparently. Mm -hmm. And a musical. And a musical. What came first? The movie. The movie came first. Okay, so it was a movie before it became a play. Yes. All right. Yeah. And quite a successful movie. I saw that it was they made it on a budget of three million and it did two hundred and fifty million at the box office. Yeah, it was a huge hit when it came out. That must have uh, made everybody involved happy. Very I'm and sure. wealthy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh the play is written by the same guy who wrote the uh the screenplay for the film, Simon Beaufoy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what uh, what are the significant differences between the screenplay and uh, the play for the, uh, the or, sorry the script for the play? Well, the movie and the play are different. There are it's the same story, but obviously since it's on a stage, there are uh, modifications made. Uh, but the play does hit a lot of the uh, highlights of the film. So uh, anyone who's seen the film, when they go see this play, they're, they'll they'll recognize a lot of the a lot of the scenes they saw in the film. So, in a nutshell, is it still a story about unemployed steelworkers in northern England who decide to make en ends meet by forming a, a striptease troupe? Yep. All right. And mm -hmm. what what yep. what local actors will we see naked? Uh, you get to see um, uh, Don Fletcher. He's our, our main player. So if you remember that from the film, there's a character called Gaz who sort of gets all the guys together. This would be Robert Carlyle's character in the movie? Yes, yes. Okay. And Robert Carlyle was so good in that. Uh, and Don Fletcher is amazing. Uh, we have Tommy Farino, who's playing Dave. And uh, I mean, there's like six of them. I don't know if you want me to list every guy. There's No, no, no. no. Just, I just, yeah. I just wanted Murr to know that there will be naked men uh, on stage. <laughs> there will be naked men. Yeah, we're 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 doing the full Monty. We're not doing the full full Monty. Right. Wink, wink, if you know what I mean. I do. But there will be an almost entirely full Monty happening. Yes. A question, if I may. Hmm. You, what would motivate uh, manly men, if you like, if I could put it that way, to get naked? To go down this road yeah it's a good question uh i'm i'm i was surprised that i actually got uh six guys to do this um mm. but when they strip and we've now gotten to the point where they're practicing the full monty it's incredible like i'm not a big male strip show kind of guy but mm. watching it is exhilarating you just it's like it's i don't know how to say it is freeing it's just amazing to watch them do it Imagine yeah Andrew, yeah yeah. So who who does the choreography, John? Donna Stewart. Okay. Uh, she's done choreography for a lot of uh, Hudson Players Club shows, um, as well as the Panto in Hudson. Uh, she's very talented, and she's amazing to work with. Uh, she's she's great working with these these guys and getting the dance down. And the dance is something else. Like, wow. Just going to say, wow, wow, wow. It's amazing. So are there multiple numbers, dance numbers? Well, yes. I mean, we, we get to see them form the group, uh, and then we get to see them practicing uh, a number of times, and then we finally get to see the full dance. So, yep, there's a, there's a bunch of dance and a bunch of music. It's very fun. Absolutely. Mer? No, I get my head around it. It's, it's, uh, I think it's fascinating as well. And, and thank you, John, for treating me so well on that question, because usually I don't ask intelligent questions of artists. <laughs> So thank you. Stop beating yourself well, I up, Murr. I, I, I think the thing is that it's it's not just about stripping, right? It's mm. really about uh, well, it's a it's a story, yeah, it's a story. Yeah. yeah. So it's really about overcoming uh, a huge amount of, uh, of of hopelessness, right? The show takes place in Sheffield, England, late 1980s. Steel industry is shut down. There are no jobs. 
there's nothing. They have nothing mm. to do. And so they really overcome this by getting together and, and doing something themselves. And, and it's very empowering. Like when you watch it, I don't know if you remember the film, but it's it's very empowering that they decided to make this choice themselves and do this. So it, it the movie the, the the movie and the play are great. They really give you a sense of like hope and and the, the power of human spirit. It's it's incredible to watch. Well, listen, we're we're in a period of time right now, economically and socially, where uh, I think a lot of people could use some uh, hope and a sense of empowerment. So it's quite timely. It, agreed. Agreed. Please come out and see it. You will. It'll make you smile and laugh, and hopefully, even a couple of tears will come out. What's the best bet for tickets and more information, John? Hudson Village Theatre website? Uh, you can go to the Hudson Village Theatre website. We have a link going to the Hudson Players Club website, or you can just go to hudsonplayersclub.ca. Uh, there you can get tickets. And go soon. Tickets are selling fast. October 19th to the 29th at Hudson Village Theatre, The Full Monty, directed by John Sheridan. John, thanks for taking the time this morning. Thank you so much. You Thank bet. You, John.